What, what, uh, what are the three things a muscle does? Okay. How, do you, how do you coach that concentric, eccentric, and isometric? Is it this word or this word? You, whoa, wait, <laughs> hold on. Him and I had about a 20 minute discussion one day about concentric, isometric, and eccentric. It is one thing that I punish interns with. If you don't know how a muscle works, how do you work it? <laughs> I'm not gonna make you stand up and flex. <laughs> concentric, isometric, and eccentric. Does, does all of your clients know what that means? And trust me, I will show up at your place and I will ask them. I guarantee that not all of them know. If you ask them to lift, to hold, and to lower, do they know what that is? Guaranteed. Okay? Starting down here. He's going to lift, under tension. He's going to hold at the top, and then he's going to low, lower under tension. And I'm just putting a little more. Are you strong on the way up or the way down? Squeeze. Okay? On the way down. So you're going to have to lower harder. Agree? I'm giving a little more pressure on the way down. Is that fair? Okay? So on the way up. Squeeze. This is your new pec. Right there. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Good hold. It's good slow on the way down. We understand the concept. When I am done and he has reached some point of what I consider fatigue, when he's on the bottom part, then we say we relax. I normally give him like, let's say 8 to 12, 13. The harder you go, the less we do. The softer you are as an individual, the more we'll do. There? Okay. Does a muscle know a number? Go on LinkedIn. Some dude wanted to fight me on that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Send. That's the only thing you can do to the guy. Look at God. Stay in Japan. It's, it's called the World Wide Web for a reason, because every freaking weirdo can just jump on and. <laughs>